Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. I am at calf feeding this morning, and we have a new heifer born. So I'm gonna walk you through what we do when a new heifer is born. Hopefully she wants to drink right away. That's always nice, and otherwise I have to wait until she is hungry in order for her to get her colostrum. So here she is. Her name had to start with a C, so I named her Cinder. I thought it was cute, and I think it suits her. She's a pretty good-sized calf. Hello. Hello. Are you hungry? <laughs> Cutie. So what I'm gonna do first is give Cinder her Enforce. Uh, this is just a nasal injection, so it just goes in the nose uh, to prevent against any sort of lung infections, I guess. It's, uh, it prevents against respiratory disease. And then I'll be spraying her navel with iodine, and that's also just to disinfect and protect against any infections. So she seems to be getting a little fed up with it, so I'll feed the rest of the room. I just like to start with the newest calf because then they get a chance to sort of drink, get a taste, get hungry again, and then hopefully they'll drink good again when I give them the second time.
This guy knows how to drink from the pail, but you have to lead him into the pail. So, and don't worry guys, I've disinfected my fingers, but you have to lead him into the pail like that and then he'll start drinking. So, eventually he'll figure it out that he has to stick his head in there by himself, but for now, you gotta show him what he's gotta do. So this guy was born yesterday. Not sure how hungry he's gonna be, but we'll see. <laughs> he's really cute. And then we have Cinder here. What are you doing? So after I feed this guy, I'll give her another attempt to see if she wants to finish off the whole bottle. Hey. having it anymore she's a little bit uh, tired I guess so I'll try again in a little bit because we give them three liters of colostrum to get them the best start possible and we usually have to give it within six hours but as soon as possible is ultimately the best for them so for the heifers since we got uh, bigger tags recently we've been tagging them later on so that their ears don't flop from the weight of the tag I mean it's cute but I'd rather have the nice little straight ears instead of floppy ears. So that's why we don't tag the heifers right away. All done? Oh, you were already gonna get rid of the bottle, hey? Little stinker. <laughs> learn how to drink properly there miss there you go but um, actually my brother and I pulled her off of a cow because she was uh, born backwards and I don't know if she needed it or not but when she was uh, when she exited the womb my brother told me I had to give her mouth to mouth so I did and um, let me tell you, it's it's not the funnest thing to get slime on your face. The things we do to make sure these calves are okay is... Yeah. <laughs> so I just walked in here to feed Cinder here, um, and I saw this girl laying flat on her side. When a calf is laying down, they're usually laying down like that. Relaxed, upright. If they're laying flat on their side, it's usually not a good sign. So she was laying down and I could see that her belly is kind of like rounded. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you're not 
supposed to be so round. So this guy has a normal belly. She is a bit uh, round, so she's a bit bloated. If you can feel that. So I just gave her uh, an anti-gas treatment and that should help her go down. So Cinder was not too interested in finishing her bottle of colostrum, so I'll just uh, put that away for now and I'll try again in like maybe an hour. So something that I've been using for this video and the last video that I have is a new stand slash clamp that I got for my birthday from my boyfriend. It's awesome. I love using it. It's one of these. So you can pretty much just move it anywhere you want and hook it onto anything. So I'm really happy with that. It makes filming a lot easier because at first I was just using like, um, it's just a handle basically. And I was trying to balance it on stuff and I was trying to film that way, but it's a lot easier to be able to just hook this thing onto stuff and have it be held that way. So now I don't have to worry about the GoPro falling over. So that's nice. <laughs> We're making some cheese with some of our family breads, just some cheese curds. This is for our own use. This is what it looks like so far. There's Miriam holding the temperature gauge.
right, so this is the finished product. These are what we call squeaky cheese, cheese curds. They're great in poutine, which is what we will be eating tomorrow. Uh, you can use it on top of pizza or lasagna or whatever else you want to put your cheese on, I guess. And um, we also have some in a cheese press over here. So this is going to be cheddar cheese and we'll eat that in a few months time. So we have to wait before we can taste that one. And uh, yeah, so you guys are here for, this is the second time we made cheese here. So you're right here at the beginning of the journey. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. a lot better so we caught the bloat in time which is good so she looks a lot better hey you feel better that's good <laughs>